Hey, how's it going guys? Tash here for IGN Deconstructed. Usually for these kinds of products, we usually talk about it or can you game on it. Right now is the end of 2020, which means Christmas is coming. So if you have a gamer in your life that you want to impress, give gifts to, show that you care or you just don't know what the heck to buy, this is a Razer gift guide for you. If you guys aren't gamers, you guys are think, oh, a mouse go brr. It's not. It goes deeper than that. So today, I'll be showing you guys how to pick the perfect mouse and mouse pad for your favorite person who loves gaming. All right, let's get into it. Now, as you can see, Razer has sent us a huge ass box, not ASS, but rather huge ass question mark. Get your mind out of the gutter. To talk about and educate you guys on how to choose the perfect mouse and mouse pad. Now, first of all, number one, hand size. So for hand size, as you guys know, if you guys watch Can You Game on it, I am a small T-Rex handed person. But Kelvin, yes, come here, Kelvin. Yes, you, come here. But Kelvin, put your hand beside mine. Yeah, look at him, look at his hand compared to mine. He looks like he's a, oh, it's wrong hand. He's an M-sized hand, see? So not everyone's hands are exactly the same size. So it says here that hand sizes come in S, M, and L. So if you wanna buy a mouse, Make sure you measure the person you want to buy's hand. So now that we know the sizes of our hands, you know what they say about people with big hands. Ooh, Get your mind out of the gutter. Now that we know the sizes of our hands, let's talk about grip style. To know what kind of mouse fits you, you must also know your grip style. So if you are a palmer, so a person that uses a palm grip is the person that has their hand resting on the top of the mouse and that's how they play. If you don't hold the mouse like that, maybe you have smaller hands, maybe you just like to grip in a claw kind of style. So a claw kind of style is where your wrist rests against the mouse and your fingertips touch this over here like that. This is a claw grip. Now, last of all is the fingertip. Fingertip is if maybe you have longer hands, but you like smaller mice, you kind of rest your hand like a palm, but you kind of like just have your fingertips on the, on the front here. Just like that. So that's fingertip style. Now, step three. Now you gotta figure out what kind of technology works for your sort of play style. Now for Razer, they have currently one of the best sensors in the market, in my opinion. They have the Razer Focus Plus optical sensor and according to them, it has a 99.6% resolution accuracy. It has also smart tracking. So smart tracking is really cool because Razer offers a variety of mats, which we'll get into later. So these sensors kind of help you calibrate how the sensor should work against different surfaces. They also have a symmetric cutoff, which means like if say you the type to like raise your mouse up or move it down, they can tell whether your mouse is going up or down and they have a cutoff distance from where it moves. So say you're playing Valorant and you raise your mouse up so you can stop moving, that's where the cutoff will come through. Secondly, let's talk about switches. So usually when people talk about switches, they talk about keyboards. But for Razer, they do have their own switches for their mice. You can see here. ASMR. So for the switches, currently has 50 to 70 million clicks for their mouse, which means that it's very, very durable. It's gonna last you a while. And secondly, you need to know that they also have a thing which prevents double clicking. I'm sure you guys know that some mice, especially mice that I've used before, I noticed that after a while, double clicking does happen. Double clicking happens when you press once and it acts like a double click. And that's really, really awful for gaming. So the newer switches for Razer doesn't have the issue. Now, last but not least, connection. So while most people still prefer wired, I prefer non-wired mice because I don't like the mess on my desk. So one thing about non-wired mice that people, especially gamers, are always worried about is about the delay as well as lag, as well as interference. So now you don't want that. So the newer Razer switches mice and assault technology, it actually stops that because it has a Razer Hyperspeed wireless technology and it's 25% faster than any other wireless gaming technology. And on top of that, it has enhanced power efficiency, which means that the battery will not only last longer, but also doesn't take too long a time to recharge. Now, you decide that you're at the store and you're like, you know what, let's make it a bundle. Let's get the mouse pad as well. Now let's go into the next part, which is the mats. 
So according to Razer, they have two types of mats. They have the hard mats as well as the soft mat. So first of all, step one, you must know what kind of mat suits your play style. So personally for me, I love playing a lot of different games and I also love FPS. So if you want something more controlled, I recommend getting the soft mats. So what's the difference between the soft mat as well as hard mat? So hard mats, they're more waterproof, they're more durable, and less susceptible to humidity, which means they're gonna last longer. Now, if you go for soft mats, they have a foam layer for better comfort. Let's be real, it's so comfortable resting your hand on these sort of mouse pads and having your wrist move on it. So it has a better stopping power when force is exerted downward. Okay, now for the glide, you have either speed pads or control pads. So this depends on your gaming playstyle. So for speed mats, they allow you to move faster with less effort, which means like if you guys like to play like shooting games with low uh, DPI, this will work great for you. Now for you guys who want something more controlled for better accuracy and precision, now you get to find something that's a little bit less glidey. So it depends on what you want. Now step three, size. I'm sure you're wondering, why are there so many heckin' sizes? So how do you choose between a small mat, medium size, large, or even more? So depending on your DPI settings, your, the small mat might not just be sufficient because if you're the type of gamer who likes to do flicks, especially in games like CSGO or even Valorant, you might need something a little bit more big so you can like move your hand around for like those last minute flicks you wanna do. And small mats might not be able to do that because imagine you're already here and you just wanna flick, it's gonna fall off. But for people that use higher DPI, so you don't need a lot of mouse movements, get the cursor movement on screen. Like personally for me, I play with higher DPI because I'm very lazy. When I play Valorant, I'm just like... There's also some people who wanna have a mat to cover their entire desk to rest their keyboard on. You guys might wanna get the extended mouse pads, like 920 by 294 millimeters, or the XXL or 3XL, because it covers your whole desk and has a nice little area for your keyboard to rest on. After all that kind of stuff, it doesn't depend on your place out, but rather preference. And there you have it, guys. Razor's Guide to Choosing the Perfect Mouse and Mouse Pad for You. Now, if you guys want to buy me a Christmas gift, please get me the Razer Viper Mini, even though I have one, I just want another one, as well as the Goliathus Mobile. This is all I want. I mean, it's already here, so 